Hey there YouTube viewers, I am back again. This is the fourth tutorial within the entire series. I don't know how many video tutorials I'm going to be doing, but there will be quite a few of them. I'm going to be suggesting 20 plus, but this is the fourth one out of the installment. Uh, in this one I want to quickly just, this will be a quick, t quick tutorial here. I'm just going to be talking about different operators. I should have taught you or showed you guys this in the last tutorial but I completely forgot to so I'm going to show you that to you in this one now in our last tutorial that was tutorial number three I talked about if else statements and while statements correct yes no maybe so okay that's what I talked about uh, and they look like follows oh wow I totally forgot here um, I believe I had a variable name variable and I ha believe I had it equal to a random number between 0 and 10, if I am not mistaken. Alright, so that's what we had, and then I had an if statement here, if variable is equal to, was it 4? Uh, if my memory serves me right. And then we had it echo out 4. And then we had an else statement, and we had an echo out not 4. If I'm remembering right, if not, whatever. It's a very similar deal here. We have an if else statement. Now, what is an operator? Well, I should have talked about this, like I said in the last video. This is an operator. That is what that says is it variable is equal to four. If variable is equal to four. Now you can change that up a little bit. You can go instead of equal to, you can go not equal to. That's what not equal to looks like. You have the little exclamation mark followed by the equal sign. Or you can go have greater than or equal to. You can have less than or equal to. You know, now you, ha you can have all these different different uh, operators. Now, when you're creating your programs, you want to be careful in using these, especially using them with while statements, because it, if you use them slightly wrong, your your entire program will crash and burn and die. You don't want that. I've had that happen to me many times. So, like, especially when I, you're gonna love it when you code, you know, a thousand line program, right? Not not too long, but just thousand lines. Okay, you have a crap load of while statements, and then it's giving you a big error on line 52, when really it's going to be on line 269, just because of a little operator. That's why I just want to tell you guys really, really, really make sure when you're coding if else statements, while statements, that you are using the right operators. Uh, and this concludes the end of tutorial 4. Again, uh, just quick brief summary. That's what equals to looks like. This is what less than or equals to looks like. Greater than or equal to, not equal to. And that's pretty much what you have there. I, I feel like I'm missing something here. Not equal to, oh jeez, and then you have your simple greater than or less than. That's what I was missing. There we go. There's your operators right there. Equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than. Simple as that. Make sure you use the right one and you'll, you won't have any problems in the future. Again, this concludes number four. I'll be making tutorial five uh, some other time, but it'll be up. Just keep an eye out for it.